Scorpio, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. If you are watching this Scorpio, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. And that means that anything is possible. I also saw the luck is on your side card flipping in the deck as I was shuffling. So maybe something is going to work out in your favor. Nothing is yet set in stone. Maybe the decision hasn't been made. We have the energy of possibility and maybe there are high emotions at the moment. Maybe you're wondering, you know, what the outcome is going to be. You might be thinking about the worst case scenario, but anything is possible. Maybe you can influence the outcome in some way. Okay, let's go to the Oracle of the angels and I've got awakening okay well maybe you are awakening to truths maybe you know you are having a spiritual awakening here we also see the lotus as a symbol of transformation so nothing is yet set in stone maybe you're awakening to more information that's going to help you on some kind of transformation I mean we did have the eclipse in the weekend which can bring fast changes can you know, can really bring, you know, life-changing events. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I have got the Knight of Cups here. Okay, it's called the Spirit of Cups in this deck. So the Knight of Cups is associated with an opportunity that brings you the Ace of Cups. So that can be an emotional new beginning of some sort. Yeah, it can be in romance. It can be in work career that really fills our cup, that brings us happiness. So nothing is yet set in stone. You've got an opportunity presenting. Maybe you haven't decided to take it up yet, but it really does hold a lot of beautiful, authentic promise. Okay, what do we have here? I've got the four of cups. Okay, contemplation, re-evaluation. So maybe you're contemplating, mm, what do I do here? Do I step through this new door? What's that going to mean? What other doors do I need to close? So I think that you are evaluating an opportunity or you will be soon, okay? And you are beginning to awaken to the bigger picture here. I've got the nine of pentacles, okay, nine of rings, abundance and fortitude. This could be in work career. Um, there could be an opportunity to invest somewhere or maybe, you know, sometimes the, the nine of rings is about us uh, becoming a consultant, a contract or, or having a new level of authority or leadership in work career. So maybe you're going to get offered some kind of opportunity. You're going to be evaluating it because it feels like it's kind of significant and you're going to need to look at it from all angles. Nothing is yet set in stone. Oh, 10 of cups. Wow. Abundance and attainment. So, you know, this might be an opportunity that's going to really uh, you know, push you to the edge of your reach. Might Maybe you think, oh, this is a little bit um, outside of my skills or expertise or something like that. But you can rise to the challenge. Remember, the universe only ever gives you, Scorpio, what you can handle. This is the gateway to the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is one of my blessed best life living cards, right? Where, you know, maybe this opportunity is the gateway to everything you've really wanted, okay? And uh, in time, it can get you there. I've got, oh, that's the, okay, that is the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is usually, usually associated with good news that brings an incredible offer of huge potential into our life. So I think that you might be in conversation for something. You've had the opportunity. This could be you delivering the message. I'm in. Let's do this. Yeah, and the Emperor. Wow, okay. So Aries energy there coming through. The Emperor is usually associated with another level up. So it fits with what we were what we were chatting about, about a new opportunity that maybe brings you to leadership, to management, to start your own business, um, go out on your own, any one of those themes. And that's going to allow you to build your empire or reach a fundamental milestone towards that, get the foundation in place. It's going to look fantastic on your resume or whatever it is. It feels like it positions you as the emperor. I've got choices after this. So that's what I see. And for you embodying the Aries energy here, Scorpio, it's asking you to, you know, to, to take a leap of faith on this. Make a bold move here. Don't get too sort of 
uh, caught up in the end game, how it's all going to go, you can navigate that. Of course, there'll be challenges. Of course, there'll be wins. It's really how you respond to those that will matter along the way. So nothing is yet set in stone, but I think soon it just could be. There's an incredible opportunity coming. One, I think that you will really celebrate. It's a milestone in your life that can move, move you closer to your version of the Ten of Cups, which is your blessed best life. So I would say take that leap of faith. So I'll leave it there, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short and sweet message. If you would like to tune into your personal circumstances, you can get a uh, private reading, personal reading at the first link down below. You can go over to my website and take a look at what I do offer. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do hit subscribe on your way out. I'd be super grateful for that. And I am just wishing you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.